What is up you guys to my 45 here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to root the MyPhone Aqua Rio. So just to show you guys that I am using a MyPhone Aqua Rio, I'm going to go ahead here and go into my settings, then to about phone and as you guys can see here my model number is MyPhone Aqua Rio and this is the S5501. So yes, I am really using a MyPhone Aqua Rio. Okay, so before we start any of this, I just want to give you guys a quick warning that rooting does void your warranty and it does bring the risk of potentially breaking your Android device, which means it can damage your Android device hardware based or software based. So in case it does, I am not responsible for any of the damage that will happen to your Android device. So if you are willing to taste those risks, then you can go ahead and start with the procedure. Okay, so before we start actually booting the device itself, you will need to one first check to make sure in your settings that unknown sources is checked. So to do that, go into your settings, then scroll down to security and make sure under device administrations, make sure that the option called unknown sources is checked. If it isn't, just tap on it, then tap OK. And from here, you'll be able to install any Android app outside of the Google Play Store. Two, you will need to make sure that you have a file manager like ES File Explorer that will let you install APK files. I'm going to be using, as I mentioned, ES File Explorer, but you can use whatever you want. And three, you will need to download an app from the Google Play Store called Root Checker Basic, which will verify if you have root access on your Android device or not. It's made by Joey K. Rim. In case you don't see it in the Google Play Store, I also left a link to it in the video description below. So, yeah, and I'm going to show you guys how to install that on your Android device. So, once you've done all that and you make sure everything is set and ready, go ahead and tap the link in the video description below to download the ABK file to an app called Framaroot. Just tap on it, open it in any browser you want. You can use a stock browser if you want, you can use Chrome, you can use whatever browser you want. Just make sure you download it by tapping on the link, then tapping on the green download button and wait for the file to finish downloading. Then once it does finish downloading, go inside your file manager, any file manager will do, and then navigate to wherever you downloaded that file. And then once you get to that file, you should see the APK file itself called Framaroot. Just tap on it. And if you're using ES File Explorer, tap install. Then you should get a pop-up that looks like this. Just tap install, wait for it to finish installing. Then once it does finish installing, tap open. And once you're inside the app, you should get a screen that looks like this. Just make sure that the option here at the top is selected for install super SU. And once you make sure that option is selected go ahead and tap the exploit here at the bottom that says bra here just tap on it and wait for a wait for the pop-up to finish up and once it does finish um rooting your android device you should get a prompt saying that it that it did root your android device and you need to reboot it so to do that, press and hold on the power button, then tap where it says reboot, then tap OK. And once your Android device finishes rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen, go ahead and unlock it. And then go inside your app drawer and find the app called Root Checker Basic. And like I said, if you do not see that app in the Google Play Store, just download the APK file for this app in the description below and install it the same way you installed Framaroot. Then once you've opened it up, hold on guys. Then once you've opened it up, just tap all the prompts saying okay, agree and whatever. Then tap where it says verify root. And you should get a prompt saying super SU blah, blah, blah. Just make sure you tap grant. And once you tap grant, you should get a pop-up that looks like this saying that congratulations, root access is probably installed on this device. As long as you see this message, then you're good to go. And you should, that should mean that you have root access properly installed on your MyPhone Aqua Rio. 
So just to make sure everything is okay, open up the app in your app drawer called Super SU. And if you get any pop-ups here that says you need to update its binary or whatever, just tap OK and follow all the prompts that it gives you. And make sure under your settings, enable super user is checked. And make sure under default access, make sure prompt is selected. And from here, guys, that is it really. That is how to root the MyPhone Aqua Reel. Now from here, you can install custom recoveries. You can install custom ROMs. You can do a lot of tweaks into it like adding navigation buttons or whatever. So if you want to learn more about rooting itself, feel free to check my explained video in the description below where I explain to you guys on how to, on what rooting is, what custom months are, and etc. Feel free to check out that video in the video description below. But either way, guys, that is it. That is how to root the MyPhone Aqua Rio S5501. Now, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because that would definitely help me out. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do next or if you have any problems with this procedure whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. I try to release a new video every Saturday and Sunday. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demiso45, signing off.